Okay, we're back. And now I'm going to talk a little bit more about parts in memory therapy with a quick explanation of the role of memories. Memories are all important in this therapy. Memories are the sources of all of our adult functions, uh, dysfunction, and they are the source of the healing as well. All of us are familiar with the big traumas like those that cause post-traumatic post stress disorder, excuse my language, PTSD for short, war, rape, near-death experiences, but there are other kinds of trauma that are not as great but may be chronic. Um, chronic emotional abuse, chronic physical abuse, chronic sexual abuse, and maybe a little bit less disturbing than those things, early childhood experiences that are not big. They're mostly small traumas. For example, when you're a child and you watch your parents have a big fight, that's a painful memory that can affect you, will affect you. Um, being the not favored child in a set of siblings. Um, in school, being bullied. In school, being uh, excluded from the popular group. Being the last kid chosen when teams are picked for an athletic event. Simple things like embarrassment in class. Wearing clothing that other kids make fun of. Anything, in fact, that other kids will make fun of will have a significant effect on you. Um, finding problems in relation to other kids in class or being, feeling at least, that you have been discriminated against by your teacher. All of these have major effects on you and much smaller things as well. One example from my own practice, I once had a patient who in kindergarten was making uh, a leaf out of clay. A teacher, being helpful, came and took her clay away from her and formed a nice looking leaf. This upset uh, my patient and recalled it. Who recalled it? 60 years later how the teacher had taken her power away. The teacher made her clay leaf the teacher's leaf and not the kindergartner's. So memories are important. All of these memories serve to form your adult personality. And they form that adult personality by creating parts. Whenever an experience that leads to a memory, and most do, Whenever an experience is novel or different or requires that you adjust, then a new part of you is created. Such parts then collect other kinds of memories that are similar. So that by the time you are an adult, you have oh, a large number of parts somewhere between uh, half a dozen and a dozen normally. And these parts acquire the memories in different themes. You'll have the part who was, who was abused, the part who is sexual, the part who is um, uh, career-oriented, the part who is uh, hurt because of uh, being rejected by girlfriends or boyfriends and so forth. So the larger personality is formed by holding together a set of sub-personalities or what I call parts. And parts and the memories that they carry are the places where we do therapy. And we'll talk next about therapy and we'll take a look at how parts and memories and the therapy all fits together to provide you with an extremely powerful psychotherapy.